Now a GMA health alert on popular weight loss medications. New research indicating a major breakthrough for the active ingredient in Ozempic and Wegovy. It may also fight fatty liver disease. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Terry Narula, is here with that. So break down these findings for us. Good morning. Well, we're talking about a disease called MASH that affects one in 20 adults in America. And this is a severe form of fatty liver. And it essentially causes inflammation in the liver, fibrosis or scarring. 20% will go on to develop cirrhosis. It also increases risk of liver cancer and then possibly can lead to liver transplant. So we don't have a lot of great treatments for this. So this trial took individuals who were average age 50, most were obese, half were diabetics, divided them into two groups. One got a placebo and one got a weekly injection of semaglutide, which is, as you mentioned, the same drug that's in Wegovy and Ozempic. They titrated that up to the highest dose of what would be Wegovy at 2.4 milligrams, that highest dose. Mm. They then followed them for about 72 weeks and they found that the group that got the drug two-thirds reduction in the inflammation in the liver, had a one-third reduction in actually the fibrosis or scarring, and a one-third reduction in both inflammation and scarring. And these numbers were about 15 to 30 percent higher in terms of the reduction than that placebo group. Mm. They also saw about a 10 percent weight loss in that group. Most of them had gastrointestinal side effects if they developed a side effect, which we know is common for these drugs. No serious signals of safety or, or harm that they picked up. Um, so really, we think this drug is targeting the underlying root cause. We know that a lot of fatty liver is caused by these metabolic derangements, insulin resistance. So, so if you have this fatty liver disease, yeah. uh, wouldn't, is this going to become available? Is it something you should talk to your doctor about now? So Novo Nordisk just basically said that the FDA has accepted this for priority review, which means that it will be reviewed for this indication in six months instead of in nine mm -hmm. months. Um, so that's hopeful. You know, currently there's only one drug that's approved for mm -hmm. this disease called Resdifra that was approved last year. So there's a big need for something for all of these Americans who may have fatty liver. Um, and clearly we keep seeing a growing uses for these GLP drugs. I know. Yeah. Dementia, it's being studied for substance abuse, kidney disease, obviously sleep apnea, cardiovascular disease, I mean, the list goes on and on. So it's really um, an incredible class of drugs. So what is it about this active ingredient that it's able to do all this? Well, clearly it has just systemic effects, right? It's affecting the brain, it's affecting the gut, it's affecting insulin sensitivity. So I think it's those wide, re that wide reaching mm -hmm. impact on so many parts of the system. System that we're seeing. Thank you, Dr. Rula. Yes, wow.